Hi Prashanti, so for your second assignment you need to do the drawing and block in the shadow shape. I feel that the drawing is a bit off, um, the eyes got too big, the distance of between both the eyes has to be one eye, so the proportion doesn't look good and it feels that as if the uh, model has been squeezed down. Your marking of the shadow shape, getting the shadow shape, exact shadow shape is oh, is good, it's coming along, but as long as the drawing is not good, it won't look good. What you could do is, don't erase the pencil marks of your drawing, just keep it the way it is. We never do, I never do for my portraits. I keep the, the lines as it is, I draw very light, and then when I work upon with shadows and different values it kind of merges with the remaining you know uh, rendering part so don't rub it so what if you don't if you preserve it i'll know what drawing process have you followed where you are going wrong and i can uh, instruct accordingly so i think the drawing is off um please Practice more just line drawings of the portrait here um, For the first five to six portrait it might take you time like two hours one hour But once you Understand the technique. It's very simple. It's very close to what we do in still life So this is also still life. Don't think it as a human beings think it as a still life with different Components, eye is one component, nose is another, so it should not, once you do, you know, practice, it, it will not take more than 10 minutes for you to draw, a, for the line drawing of any portrait. It's, it's as simple as a still life, but it needs a bit of practice and a bit of, you know, memori memorizing the different proportions of the head so here we have there is a text in the first topic under the measurement where we have oh, let me see yes the basic proportion of the head 1.2 so once you memorize this and follow uh, these steps the portrait drawing can never go wrong okay